This question is from gate 2014, mechanical engineering paper set to question number 24. The relationship between true strain epsilon t and engineering strain epsilon e in a uniaxial tension test is given as. Let's see how it is done. We want to find out the relationship between engineering strain and true strain. So as per the definition of the two, we can write engineering strain is defined as change in length upon original length. So change in length will be calculated as final length minus initial length upon the initial length which can be written as LF upon LI minus 1. Now small value of true strain is nothing but derivative of small change in the length upon the initial length. So here we need to take the integration to find the total strain and therefore we will integrate on both sides integration small value of true strain is it equal to integration this will be between the initial length to the final length because that's what the limits for this capital L are so dl by li here we get the integration as ln of l and after putting the limits from li to lf we have total true strain is equal to ln of final length minus ln of initial length. ln is nothing but natural log. So this can be written as natural log of final length upon initial length. So this gives us the true strain. Now here in order to find out a relationship between the two, we can find lf by li from here and then put it in this equation. So we have lf by li will be equal to engineering strain plus 1 or 1 plus engineering strain. Therefore, true strain from here we have true strain equal to natural log of 1 plus engineering strain. So this is the relationship between engineering strain and true strain. Let's go back and mark the correct option in which this will be found. So it's in option C. Be careful while marking the option. They are very close. So epsilon t true strain is equal to natural log of 1 plus engineering strain. To further learn more about true stress and true strain, you can re refer to the NPTEL video True Stress and True Strain from the course Introduction to Material and Science and Engineering. This course is by Professor Rajesh Prasad. He is from Department of Applied Mechanics, IIT Delhi. I hope the solution will help you clear your doubt. Thank you.